Oh, hey. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Vapor Chasers channel. Yes, this is me, the host, the Vapor Chaser, a.k.a. Mr. Vapor Chaser. It's like, nah. Um, <laughs> fucking dork, man, seriously. Thank you guys for joining me today. Tonight, today, this afternoon, on this fucking planet, we are going to review a beautiful piece of art in the vaping industry. You guys know how I feel about my my version 1 tugboat mech mod. Well, let me introduce you to the newest member of the family. The tugboat version 2 mech mod with comp cap. Just take it in. Just take it in. Yes, it's white with pink splatter. And real men rock pink. Real men rock pink. Let me clean this up so you guys can just take in the effervescence, which is why my fucking uh, cat, my my computer is ready for the shitter. It really is. All right. I think that's I think that's a little better. You know, you guys are going to see this in the classic GTA mode, but I just wanted to show you how beautiful, how beautiful this thing is. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Just beautiful. You got your copper spring contact button. Hashtag FTC. I think that stands for fuck the companies who serve cigarettes. Fuck the cigarettes. That's what it stands for. Fuck the cigarettes. <laughs> and truthfully, I'm not really sure what that stands for. Hashtag flawless tugboat company. I don't know. We're going to jump down in the classic GTA mode, ladies and gents, and I'm going to show you what came with this, uh, show you everything that is involved with this, I know, I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself in the fucking, uh, in the can in on my screen, it's so, I'm telling you guys, one day throw on a camera and try and do a video and try and look at that camera because it's so hard, like, half the time I'm like this, talking to you guys like this. Cause I'm, cause I'm looking at, I'm looking at myself in the fucking, you know what I mean? Anyway, classic GTA mode right now. We're gonna check this bad boy out. Let me blow some clouds in your face. All right, guys. Let me get a little took on this tug sauce. So. Um, basically, uh, this is the, you know, specs, as far as, um, what Flawless, uh, pretty much says. Uh, brand new copper Saracoda mod with matching caps and a vape sock. These mods are a thicker 24 millimeter and will accept any tugboat deck that you currently own. So, if you guys have the Tugboat version 1 or 2 mech mod, or, um, I'm sorry, uh, Tugboat version 1 or 2 atomizer, then it will fit, fit on here without any problems. So, basically, um, alright, so, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this apart. This is your, let me clean this up so that way you guys can see this a little better. This is your competition cap that comes with it. Now this is 24 millimeters as well. The whole entire um, mod is 24 millimeter thickness. And any of you guys that have the uh, version one mech mod, you know it's a 22 millimeter Addy. So um, nice wide bore drip tip. Now this is, uh, I'm going to say this is definitely Delrin press fitted. Um, my friend George said that he definitely um, got his off. I did not try to take mine off. 
as you can see it's kind of uh, it's definitely press fitted in there all copper and then you see the bell ring in there um, but nice little comp cap it's got I want to say uh, I've honestly I forget I think it's two by s two millimeters by seven millimeters air holes on each side so this is only for dual um, coils you cannot run a single coil with this then you have your Take this uh, this deck off. Now this is my tugboat tugboat version two uh, Addy deck. So it fits on here nice and flush, and you just basically pop that cap right on there, and it sits nice and flush. You have a Cerakoted top. And as you can see, uh, this is a hybrid mech. Now, uh, like the version 1, this is basically the opposite. The version 1, your top cap right here just unscrewed. And uh, that's how you got your battery out because it had uh, magnets that opposed each other for the spring. There was no spring in the version 1. If you guys remember, if you don't, um, go check out my... Uh, for all you new... Uh, subscribers that haven't uh, seen the tugboat version 1 review that is up and on my channel so you got the tug tugboat logo one thing I did notice that isn't on here that I was surprised and uh, it could be a con to some of you guys it, it, it is a bit of a con to me is it doesn't have that hashtag tug life on there I was a little sad about that but you know I'll get over it so, um, you have your copper contact negative spring loaded uh, button. And um, basically, you can see here it unscrews. Very, very good um, threads like butter. So, you put your battery in just like that and screw it on top now um, I use MXJO's um, I, I like them a lot I think they're basically rewraps of the 25 R's but whatever um, I think they're pretty uh, pretty reputable so always mark your batteries like you know so I see I got MM number two so this is uh, for my mech mod so I know not to put this in, you know, one of my box mods or my variable voltage mods. This is basically just for this mech. So, and you can get even more in depth and, and, and write, you know, tugboat mech mod on, on there. So you've got a Delrin um, adjuster for your battery throw. Um, just for your battery rattle, I'm sorry. So uh, it comes out like that. Now I have mine all the way in and I have no battery rattle whatsoever. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, some people might have some battery rattle. So, you know, you have your uh, very light throw. I mean, if you could see that, you ready? So, very light. Now, I will show you, um, hold on, let me get a screwdriver. Shit, I probably should have been prepared for this, I do apologize. Basically, to take this this uh, bottom part apart, you just unscrew this little screw. And once you get it going, you can kind of just get it with your fingers. And this goes together and comes apart so easily, so easily. I've had no problems with it. Uh, 
lot. Now, granted, I've only had it for a few days, but still, it just, you know, they really did their homework on this. Now, um, I really, really enjoyed uh, the whole opposing magnets on the version 1. So I was a little disappointed to see that they weren't doing that with this version as well, but it's okay. Now, you've got an 85-pound spring and a 125-pound spring that comes with it. So uh, this is a lot lighter in the throw, and this is really, really tough. So it's going to come pre-installed with the 125, I think. I, I want to say... It came with the 125 pound spring, and um, so basically, you know, you got your two springs here. Let me make sure this is the one I'm putting back on. You've got your uh, this is your button. So um, I kind of feel like Flawless is probably going to um, sell different types of switches. So which I, you know that'd be pretty cool. You got your little hole there for your battery venting. And, uh, and your hashtag FTC. So I don't know what that means. Flawless Tugboat Company. I don't fucking know. But it's Flawless Vape Shop. So I, I, don't, I don't know. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, there's not much to this. It's a simple, simple, simple device. I mean, it really is. Um, you know, make sure when you guys are putting your spring back on, you're not putting it in like this. Put it in like this. Um, you know, you got that little hurricane, that little uh, tornado kind of look with your spring. And you just basically push that back up. Let me grab my uh, negative contact screw. And uh, the threads are nice, nice and buttery as soon as you can uh, get it in there. You know, it's, it's showing me off now. You know, I'm giving it some love and it's saying, fuck you. You know, I've got fucking bear poles, though, so. I mean, bam. Buttery, fucking smooth. Um, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the down close-up, guys. There, there's not much to this. Um, there really isn't. There really is not much to this at all. It's a great mech. Now you can see. Uh, I'll show you real quick. You guys can see that your uh, you guys can see that that is 22 millimeters. And then when you put the comp cap on, boom, nice and flush. Now. If you wanted to, you could still use all your other, you know, caps and stuff. I got a pink one right here. Hashtag pink tug life. For all you ladies out there and all you fucking men that are real men. I ain't ashamed of your game. So, you know, it's got that little lip on it. Which seems to be kind of like the trend right now. You know, the, the, the Limitless and, and uh, the Rig Mod and stuff like that. They've got that 24 millimeter kind of look with the 22 millimeter Addies. There's a slam cap. It looks good, man. It's, it's you know, it feels nice in the hands. I think it's, uh, let's do, let's do some, com let's do a comparison. Uh, I don't, the only other mech that I own is uh, the Tugboat version 1 for right now. I actually, it's, it's crazy. Uh, I've got a second one coming in. Uh, I just, I'll tell you more about it when I get up in the close-ups. I mean, when I get back up there. So. Alright. So, let's put the battery, where my battery go? Alright, right here. Let's put your battery back in. Boom. Now, I suggest putting your battery in. That's just my personal opinion, putting your battery in. And then putting your top cap on. I, I don't. I don't personally suggest doing it the opposite. I just. Uh, I think that. Um, yeah. I mean, this is literally the same. I want to say. I want to say may, maybe just maybe the new one is like a cunt hair. Excuse my French. Um, 
is it, it may be a little tiny bit taller. But no, but I don't. I don't think so. I think this is literally the same exact height. And then you've got your width, you know, 22 millimeters and 24 millimeters. So there you go, guys. There you go. So we're gonna jump back up into uh, regular fucking ugly mug view and and vape on this thing. I'm gonna tell you uh, how much I paid for it, and we'll just we'll just talk about it vape on it for a minute. All right, guys. So stay tuned. And we're back. Back into ugly mug mode. Anyway, that was the tugboat version 2 with the comp cap. This thing is just fucking great. I love it. It is going to be in my arsenal for a long, long time. I also decided to order a second one, the black, or the red with the black splatter. It's just beautiful. It was the first option I wanted, and they didn't have it in stock at the time. And, of course, two days after I ordered this one, it showed up in my cart. Well, in my notifications that I said I wanted to know when it was back in stock. So, I told you, oh, oh, by the way, yes, it also comes with this nifty vape sock, uh, vape sock for life. So, any of you guys that are into the whole fanny pack on your belt buckle and stuff like that, you don't have to use it like that. I mean, it does come with the little fanny pack belt buckle, but... You know, it comes, it, when, when you get it, it's all bubble wrapped and it's actually in here. It's nice to throw in if, you know, you're on the boardwalk or you're, you know, in L.A. on Rio Grande shopping at fucking, you know, Dolce & Cabana. You want to pull this shit out and vape, especially for you ladies, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. $125, ViperVape.com. That is the cheapest anywhere. I can guarantee you that. If you find it cheaper anywhere else, please let me know because I want like three more. <laughs> uh, I really want to get the the uh, zombie splatter like to match my my version one. So that's probably gonna be in the works, you know, when I get a couple more dollars. Um, quick, uh, quick uh, advertisement, you know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. I lost my train of thought. So $125, ViperVape.com. Go check it out. Get this. I have a stamp. It's my stamp of approval. My stamp of approval. This thing is a hard-hitting mech. Now, um, the one downfall con, I guess I could say with it, is it doesn't come with a deck. So you you guys don't own a tugboat version 1 or version 2 um, Addy, then obviously um, you're probably not going to be able to use the comp cap. So you could still buy one and put your own Addies on. Uh, it does fit any other Addy that you guys do own. I haven't tried a lot, but every one that I have tried, uh, it's worked fine. I mean, I even put my Zephyrus on this thing it worked. But the Zephyrus is a tank like no other, if you guys know what I mean. I, I didn't do a review on the Zephyrus, now did I? They've been popping up like crazy on my uh, on my feed for everybody else doing reviews on them, so maybe I should do a review on mine. I'll think about it and let you guys know. So, this fucking vlog, or vlog, this review has gone on long enough. I always talk your ear off. Please, please hit that like button. I don't know what the fuck it does, but it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside when you hit the like button. Hit the hit the down button. It makes me feel fuzzy too. Comment. Tell your people to subscribe. As soon as I hit that 100 subscriber mark, I'm going to be telling you guys what I'm going to be giving away. I am doing a a two-parter like uh, I don't remember if I said in my vlog if I was gonna do three or two if I told you guys three then it's gonna be three but if I didn't say three it's gonna be two no it's gonna be three 
three giveaways, 100 subscribers, kind of like first, second, third. Whatever you guys get is going to be fucking great. Like I say before, if you guys are here for the giveaways, please unsubscribe now. Hit the unsubscribe button because there's not going to be tons of giveaways because I buy this stuff myself. And you guys know this. Why do I have to keep telling you guys not to fucking motherfucker? I just lost my train of thought again. I'm looking at myself in that camera. If you guys are passionate about vaping, please sign up for Kasa, Kasa.org and the Vaping Militia.org. Fight for your right to vape. This is your boy, the Vapor Chaser, signing off. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Next up is going to be the vlog, and I do have a surprise coming. I cannot believe that I bought this, but it had to be done. It had to be done. You guys are going to be so excited when you see it. I'm still waiting on my Frankenstein creations to do my e-juice review. I got some other e-juices that I'm going to try and uh, get to, but I got to buy them. So, And you know I am a junkie for Milkman and Muffin Man, so I kind of just don't even stray away from that. I have, I've got juice out the ass that I've not, I haven't even cracked open from, um, from Vape Expo. But... Thank you guys very much. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. And that's about it. Really? Good night.